And here it is. So take a look. Pause the video if you need to. Seven o'clock, you're leaving the house. 4.30, you're home. This is a long day, but <laughs> it's not a nine to five job. It's a 10, 12, 14 hour day every day until you get going and you learn how to market so well that there's an overwhelming demand for your services and you can delegate down and you become more of a manager. So we'll talk about that later. But take a look at this day. Eight o'clock, client arrives and the job begins essentially. But if you can get there early, well, where I come from, if you show up on time, you're late. So we always get there early. That was a policy of our company to show up early, never late. I was late once and at the end of the inspection, did a great inspection. And at the end of the inspection, I didn't charge the person. I gave it away for free, never was late again. And what that turned out to be is actually one of the best marketing tools that I ever did. One of the best choices that we ever did to give away an inspection service because we were late. We took accountability. We were responsible. We delayed everyone's time and then we made it up for everyone. We did a great job. Didn't go fast and blow through it, but we made everybody whole. And in business, if you ever make a mistake, if you ever uh, trip the GFCI and the refrigerator of cool wine goes warm, right? Make people whole. Now, it doesn't mean you are responsible for everything that goes wrong in a house during an inspection. If the dishwasher leaks, it leaked. That's not your responsibility, right? You're responsible for reporting defects that you observe. And if, the, if it's a... Uh, leaking dishwasher, well, th that appliance needs to be fixed. Put it in the report, take a picture. But if you, uh, you know, mess up a, a refrigerator full of wine, well, and you make people whole, that could be one of the best marketing things. So I was late at the inspection, gave it away. Weeks later, that story of how we gave away a free inspection because we simply showed up an hour and a half late just spread throughout the inspection community through the real estate offices. And that really was a, a great boost to our business. And every time something like that happens, I personally did the, the wine cooler thing. And I came back to the person, the occupant, the seller, I destroyed her wine, right? It went all warm. I don't know. I guess you can't put it back into the fridge, turn it back on. I don't know. Gave her a check for money actually brought flowers, made everybody whole. And then I told everybody by email what had happened. Did an inspection, great inspection. Everybody's happy, messed up with the GFCI, turned off the cooler, the wine went warm, came back with money, replaced it all and flowers and made everybody whole. So use your mistakes as a marketing tool. Eight o'clock, that's when the show begins. Mm -mm, not for me. About 7.30. I show up at the property early. Nothing to do except the exterior. Well, I'll wait for my client to do the exterior. So I'll, I'll do the roof. And you're not required to walk upon any roof surface. So what do I do? You can use your camera, zoom in, walk around from the ground. It's a little difficult. I went up on the roof. That was my brand. And we'll talk about what a brand is. That was my brand. I brought big tall ladders, 20 foot, 32 foot fiberglass ladders, 40 foot aluminum ladder to get up on the barns. I went up on the roof and I did the roof inspection, took pictures, wrote the report. And as I came down, I expected my client to show up on time, eight o'clock, wave to them from the roof, right? Come down, big smile, handshake, first impression. Don't mess that up. Pass out five business cards to everybody, five, not just one, five so that they can pass it out. And then I asked my client if they would like to walk around with me. I introduced the system, the, the process is going to be, you know, I, when I, I'm going to inspect everything. When I find something wrong, I'll find you. Unless you want to walk around with me, you're welcome to walk around with me and ask questions. In fact, that's what I prefer so that my client can ask all the questions while I'm at the property. Because at 430, 
As you can see, I'm not doing any work at night. My report is written because I use a mobile software. I inspect, take pictures, do video, write the report, and answer all the questions of my clients and all the concerns. I print out a summary. I send them the full report immediately after the inspection, and I am done. 12 o'clock, I got another job. That's my second job. First job, I'm managing my time. Get there early, start eight o'clock, and then I do systems. When I get inside, well, I wanna do the big systems first. So I do the exterior. It only takes 15 minutes, 20 minutes to do the exterior. And then around 8.15, for another hour, I'm doing the heavy loads. HVAC, hot water source, water supply, drain waste vents, and plumbing. And then I move to the really difficult stuff, the electrical, because I take the panel cover off, you're not required to, and I do the structure. And that could be down and dirty kind of stuff. When I get into the attic around 10 o'clock in the morning, I know that I'm basically done. I'm timing my um, inspection just right. I'm managing my time. I know I'm gonna get to my second job at 12 when I'm in the attic at 10. And the attic is only a few minutes, come down, and I do the interior. That's bathrooms, uh, kitchen, garage, and all the interior rooms and hallways and all the, the lights and the windows and everything like that. And I finish up in the kitchen. I do the kitchen appliances and all that things. And then I finish up in the kitchen because it seems to be like the nice place to be at at the end of the inspection for a summary of everything that's going on. I print out a summary for people because it's like a checklist of things to go do and and negotiate over, and then I'll, I email, unless they want me to print out the whole report there, I email the entire report with pictures and videos, and it looks fantastic, and it's all done because I was writing the report as I inspected. That's how I don't work at night. I hope my, my competitors work at night and wear out, but I am fast and efficient with my time, and the best way to be efficient with your time is to use mobile software, and we'll talk about that later. In my business, I kept the idea in my head of a fraction. A fraction has a numerator, that's a number on the top, and a denominator. Numerator divided by denominator. On the top of the fraction is the gross amount of money divided by your time. And what you wanna do is you wanna increase the top and divide it by a small amount of time. The more money you make in the less amount of time, the more profit there is. So you wanna increase your gross revenue, and in this class we'll show you how. Divide it by your time, and we wanna squeeze your time. The opposite is all messed up. Let's say you make only $100 on an inspection and it takes you all day. $100 all day. That's opposite of what you want. You wanna flip that around. You want a lot of money at the top divided by time. And so you gotta manage your time. And one way to start thinking about that is to look at another inspector's schedule. So as you can see, at 11 o'clock, I'm done. That's three hours of inspecting. I have some time for lunch and traveling to the next job. Hopefully I can get there early in traffic. I collect my $400 for my inspection and ancillary services. So 75% of all my inspections, I did a radon test. 50% included a WDO. And then there's like 10, 20% was a water quality and maybe some lead hazard risk assessments and things like that. But basically I was doing a $400 inspection $120 radon test and a $75 wood destroying organism. So I was making five, six, something like that per inspection and bringing home, bringing back to the office over $1,000 gross every day. And that was our goal for all of our inspectors, make $1,000 a day. And if you manage your time, then every job was highly profitable. All right, so if you wanted to learn how to increase gross revenue, well, you start with your home inspection and then you just bundle ancillary services on top of that. 
what are ancillary services, well, go to nachi.org slash certification and you'll get a link to our home inspector certification program and all the other types of certifications that you can attain from InterNACHI. That's where the profit is. Ancillary inspections. If you can add ancillary inspections without increasing your time, then you're still in that good ratio of mathematics where you're dividing a large amount of money by a small amount of time.